we have done with the basic terminologies. Let's study the randomness in reinforcement learning. There are two sources of randomness. One is from the actions, and the other is from the states. Understanding the randomness is crucial to understanding reinforcement learning. Let's study the randomness in actions. Given state S, action A is randomly selected. For example, the policy function outputs the probabilities of the three actions. The three probabilities are 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and 0.7. The action is randomly sampled from the discrete probability distribution. Left is selected with probability 0.2. Right is selected with probability 0.1. And up is selected with probability 0.7. Any of the three actions can be selected. But up has the highest probability. The other source of randomness is state transition. We observed the current state S. The agent executed action A. The next state is decided by the environment. More specifically, the next state is randomly sampled from the state transition function P. Even if the current state S and action A are both given, the next state is not determined the next state has randomness. For example, the next state is randomly chosen from two options. According to the state transition function, the two possible states have probabilities of 0.8 and 0.2 respectively. Either can be the next state. The environment, namely the game program, will randomly select one out of the two choices according to the probabilities. In sum, there can be two sources of randomness. One source is the agent's action A. The policy function pi outputs a probability distribution. The action is randomly sampled from the probability distribution. The other source of randomness is the state transition. The environment has a state transition function P. It is a conditional probability density function. The environment generates a new state by random sampling from the state transition function. We have studied the basic concepts and two sources of randomness. The next topic is agent-environment interaction. In our example, the environment is the Super Mario game. The agent is Mario because Mario performs actions. In the teeth round, the agent observes the state of the environment. Denote the current state by ST. In the Super Mario game, we can regard the screenshot as the current state. Upon observing the state as T, the agent will execute an action AT. The action can be moving left, right, or up. Knowing the agent's action AT, the environment updates the state to ST plus 1. The environment provides the agent with the reward RT. We have discussed the reward. If Mario collects a coin, it will receive a positive reward. If Mario wins a game, the reward will be a big positive number. If Mario touches an enemy, then game over, and the reward is a big negative number. How do we use AI to control Mario to play the game? We will use reinforcement learning to learn a policy function pi. The AI will use the policy function pi to control Mario. Observing the current state st, the AI uses pi to compute probabilities and then randomly samples an action at. After the agent executes action at, the environment will update the state to st plus 1 according to the state transition function. The new state st plus 1 and reward rt are provided to the agent. Given the first state s1, the policy makes a decision a1, and the agent executes a1. Then the environment updates the state to s2. The environment provides the agent with feedback, namely reward R1. 
R1 indicates how good the action is. Based on the new state S2, the policy makes a decision A2, and the agent executes A2. Then the environment updates the state to S3 and provides the agent with reward R2. Then the policy makes a decision A3, and the agent executes A3. The environment updates the state to S4 and provides the agent with reward R3. Continue this process to the end of the game. In this way, we obtain a trajectory. It contains all the states, actions, and rewards. It is S1, A1, R1, S2, A2, R2, 2, SN, AN, RN. N is the length of the episode. Different episodes can have different lengths. One episode is from the beginning to the end. In the Super Mario game, one episode is from the beginning of the game to Mario wins or dies. Reinforcement learning typically means finding a good policy. With the policy at hand, we can use it to control Mario and automatically play the game. But what is a good policy? A good policy means it can control Mario to collect as many rewards as possible. A good policy leads to a big cumulative reward, namely the sum of rewards. In the Super Mario game, we hope Mario can win the game, and meanwhile collect as many coins as possible. This is equivalent to maximizing the cumulative reward. Reinforcement learning uses the rewards to guide the learning of policy function. Many algorithms have been developed for learning the policy function. They all use the recorded trajectories as training samples. This is why we let the agent interact with the environment and record the trajectories.